Hi guys, Babette here from Hubble Digital. It's that time of the year where we get to find out about a whole bunch of new HubSpot features uh, that launched throughout the year as well as kind of new features that are coming out. Uh, it's definitely something that gets all of us super excited to kind of see how the platform has adapted and grown uh, throughout the year. Uh, 2020 has already seen some really amazing uh, features launched on the sales hub um, side of things, uh, but we've obviously got quite a few additional ones coming very soon or that are currently in beta. One thing that really makes me so excited about uh, the the launches and the releases, it's really been all encompassing. It hasn't been focusing just in one section of the sales hub. It really has looked at a whole bunch of different tools. We've seen some launches already on the CRM feature side of things. Uh, we've obviously also got the sales acceleration tools, uh, which we've got a couple of beta elements in that front. Uh, CPQ tools, uh, there's really exciting things to, uh, coming over there. And then of course also reporting, which uh, HubSpot has always been kind of adapting and growing to. So definitely really excited about all of those those elements and the fact that we are able, uh, that it has been expanded uh, to each of those different uh, sections. Some of the features um, that I'm most excited about, of course I'm excited about all of them, uh, but some of the features to kind of name a few that have really um, impressed me and made me excited to see where HubSpot's going is um, for the CRM features, the custom objects, which essentially is going to open up a whole new world, uh, not only for us as HubSpot partners, um, but also for our own customers. Uh, I think the fact that we're able to start building onto the HubSpot platform um, and extend its capabilities from just reporting on something like a contact, a company, a deal, or a ticket, uh, we can actually take it to that next level uh, I think we've, we've seen a huge increase in the fact that we do actually can, we are able to actually close deals now that we previously weren't able to. So that custom object um, a feature really is something super exciting to, uh, to look forward to. Uh, and I can't wait to start look, seeing what uh, a lot of our customers might end up doing with them. Uh, the next one, which uh, we launched already in May, was the ABM feature. This was a huge uh, advancement, I think, for the HubSpot platform, uh, it definitely has facilitate and facilitated and helped um, our customers identify their target accounts, but then also track how are they performing against that target account? Are they speaking to them? Uh, is marketing doing enough to get the contacts in? Do we actually, are we actually speaking to the right people? Um, so being able to kind of facilitate that and track that within the HubSpot platform, I think is hugely beneficial for our sales team, as well as the marketing teams. Um, it really helps them to really understand, are we getting the right um, people in? Um, then another feature which has just gone into beta as well as the today uh, view feature, which has really taken the task dashboard to a whole new level for sales teams. Uh, I love the fact that you're able to kind of pinpoint all of your daily tasks, uh, you're able to work through that with different views or different filters based off of how you want to work. Um, tracking also what your performance has been on a daily basis or weekly basis. And then also being able to directly see your calendar uh, from the platform. The fact that uh, a sales member literally just needs one section to go into our HubSpot now, uh, I think is extremely uh, valuable for them. Then uh, we've also got the custom proposal side of things, which I'm also really excited about. We've got we've had a lot of customers that have used third party integrations for that, which has always been great. But of course, now that you're bringing something like that into HubSpot, it really, um, I think, is going to help with the ease of use of the platform. It's going to decrease friction um, and being able to utilize uh, something like the CMS side of things or those features and bringing that into the sales side uh, where your sales team can actually start building those proposals themselves. And obviously we know how easy the CMS is to uh, use. Um, so I think that's gonna be hugely beneficial. Uh, and then on the reporting side of things, we've got the new forecasting tool, which we've seen countless times customers asking for something like that. And it's, it's never been as easy. And HubSpot's definitely kind of stepped up the game on that front and provided us with the tool, which will definitely help uh, our future uh, customers on the enterprise front.
Um, I think when we look at HubSpot being such a powerful tool, one thing that some, something big to focus on is the fact that it's easy to use. Now, having a powerful platform like HubSpot with all of the powerful features and tools within it, uh, but then also making it easy for a user, uh, I think is something hugely beneficial. Uh, from a friction standpoint, it really helps uh, for teams to work together, number one, but also for teams to actually start using the platform. Uh, so that adoption rate is something that we like to focus on quite a lot uh, because you don't want to spend a lot of money getting up and running in a, in a platform and then not actually having your sales team using the tool. So that adoption side of things, I think, um, is hugely beneficial for anybody rolling out uh, a sales hub enterprise portal. Uh, you want your teams to be using it and the fact that the t tool is easy to use, it obviously helps and facilitates that. Uh, and then I think from what these releases actually mean for HubSpot uh, from an advancement standpoint for us going into more mid-market um, enterprise level customers, uh, definitely the custom objects I think is really something that is going to facilitate um, customers feeling comfortable with choosing HubSpot as their, um, their, their platform. Um, I really do think that we, we've already seen how custom objects have really changed the game for more of the enterprise um, companies. Uh, people are wanting to be able to kind of expand something in the platform uh, and the custom objects really allows for that. Things like the permission structures, the more deeper permission structures really also helps for more enterprise global companies, uh, especially when it comes to data elements as well as what people can edit and do within the, the, the platform. And then we've all obviously got all of the reporting elements that has also taken it to kind of a whole new level. And then of course that proposal side of things. Um, so I really think that with these new features, uh, that we're gonna start seeing a lot more of those mid-market enterprise level accounts coming to um, us um, looking for uh, rolling out something like HubSpot. And then just final thoughts, I, I think um, I, I always get surprised in how uh, more advanced the uh, HubSpot uh, becomes. Uh, I'm really excited with just this year's launches. I cannot wait for 2021 and all the years to come. Uh, it really is incredible to see how much the HubSpot team puts in to actually advance the platform, um, not only just for us, but also uh, for our customers and it's it's great to kind of be able to work on such an incredible platform. Thank you. Have a great day